Hello everybody and welcome back to a bit more BD Armory where we take a, a cute educational game and mod it for murder and mayhem. We really do need help. Uh, anyway, I was looking at the fighters I've sort of built so far and uh, well I've got my two conventional fighters, the uh, the Cyclone and the Wyvern, and I got looked at my more my more unconventional fighters because I, I do kind of... I'm a bit in love with them. So we started off with the Dragonfly here. Um, looks... I still like this one. Uh, but not quite so good in the fight, so we decided we were going to develop ourselves an improved version, and we came up with this. The Tiger Tail, named after a species of dragonfly, and this did the job a lot better, but I was thinking, we don't really have anything in sort of the more versatile role, something that could fill a heavy fighter, sort of a ground attack, ground support role, so I've gone and I've thrown together this. The heavy version of my dragonfly family. This is the Clubtail, again named after a uh, species of dragonfly. And we're going to go and see how this performs in combat. So first up, the Clubtails will be going up against the Cyclones, the sort of Eurofighter-y, all-rounder, jack-of-all-trades kind of craft. But how will they fare? Let's get them into the air. Everybody taking off without any problem, these Clubtails. Just want to keep an eye on them just as they're taking off because, uh, well, they're sort of part of the, the dragonfly family of craft, and they uh, those aren't well. They're not the best on the ground, as I think I've pointed out in uh, previous videos. They do uh, sometimes the pilots want to go and have a, a quick hug and kiss as they're taking off, and um, well, you you start to lose missiles and wings and plane parts and possibly body parts. Those two get close. Okay, these seem to be an improvement uh, in that respect, at least on the uh, on those uh, on those other craft, the tiger tails and the dragonflies. How are they doing? They're also very quick. There, I know they're sort of the heavy fighter version of the dragonfly, but uh, it, they're still pretty light craft, um, and they've got these two engines, so they are very powerful, very quick. That doesn't necessarily equate to maneuverability, but they seem to be turning round at a reasonable rate and they loose their first volley of, miss of missiles as the, uh, the cyclones have already released theirs and everybody starts to break low to uh, to dodge those chaff flying everywhere let's see if uh, let's see how they fare against those missiles oh that was very close and i think one of the club tails got a bit scorched there yeah he's missing a bit of wing surface and some control surfaces He's missing all the control surfaces on his lower wings. That is, and one of his canards. Oh, that's going to be it's going to be a bit difficult. The rest of the fight is going to be a bit difficult for uh, Piper Kerman. How are the cyclones doing? More missiles come in, narrowly miss. How are all the, all the cyclones doing? I think they seem to be doing. Another missile comes in for this club tail. The Cyclones, I think, are all in good order. Yep, no major parts missing. And we're closing to within gun range. Where are we? Let's see if we can get one that's sort of going on in the... Oh, you're not looking too good, are you, buddy? Oh, here comes in the gunfire. Shreds off a little bit more wing. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's trying to get up a bit up close and personal. Let's have a look at the others. The other club tails still all looking good. That damaged club tail can distract the others for long enough. Maybe they can get a kill. Maybe they can even things up. Putting plenty of fire onto this cyclone here. Valentina, Valentina, surely you're the one to save the days for the for the club tails. And scorches that cyclone. I'm not sure it was enough. Where are we? Hmm looking problematic and now it's the cyclones turn to put fire onto one of the uh, one of the club tails and this is not looking good at all he's in a perfect position can he finish it off surely he where be Kerman oh hasn't quite managed and now gunfire comes in for where be oh could it be a could it be a quick reverse here gunfire comes in there we go it lights him up and it shreds him and one of the other cyclones has gone as well. It's just it's one on. It's one. I'm not sure how many. 
Cyclone putting guns to this uh, to this club tail. Dupond Kerman. But breaks off. Thinks. Think I've got a. Think he's got a missile incoming. Valentina still all look, everything looking good. And uh, oh, bless you, Piper Kerman. Bless you. Anyway, these two club tails trying to close in on this cyclone. Calamie Kerman. Can you finish the job? He looks he's getting a good shot off. Can he Oh scorches. Scorches that cyclone. Can he finish the job? Come on, Kalemi. He's got him perfectly perfectly in his sights and surely one more burst of gunfire will do it. Breaks off. Come on, it's it's right there. There we go, here we go, surely now. Breaks off to avoid the gunfire once again. Was that a joust between those two? I'm not sure, let's see. Come on. I'm gonna sit and switch to this cyclone. This cyclone tries to, oh, and now. Now Dupont Kerman finds his craft shredded. And uh, still flying, but surely not for long. Surely the club tails are going to come in and finish him off. Or, unless he fails to stabilise and hits the ground. Oh! You lucky little bastard. Now, what can... Well, I, I'm not sure there's much he can do, really. Debris crashing elsewhere. This... Hang on, why hasn't this guy been doing anything? Deboer Kerman, he's just... Where were you? You were miles away! Oh, and this cyclone ends up getting shredded, so it is... It is. I thought it was two on one, but now it's two on one. As uh, both the club tails... Valentina, is she going to lose some missiles? Oh, he looks like... He just took a bit of damage. Uh, missiles coming in... To no avail, it looks like. Both club tails now. Can they finally finish off this last cyclone? Missiles coming in. Gunfire coming in. It can't last much longer, can he? Oh, that looks like it might have scorched him a bit. Two lots of gunfire. This can only end one way, surely. And that is exactly what happens. Wow, that was a long one, but uh, the uh, the club tail gave a very good account of itself and comes away victorious with uh, three kills to one. Not bad, not bad. Valentina Kerman here making sure that cyclone is left in. Absolutely no doubt as to who finished it off. So the club tails have passed the first of their uh, first of their challenges. I think it's time we move on to the next one. So we are going to take a quick break from the dogfights. Not to worry, they'll be back shortly because. Uh, well, I wanted this to be a multi-role craft, so we are going to go and test its multi-role capabilities. In this case, ground attack. I have equipped it with a bunch of ground attack weapons, and over there in the background are two of these little um, anti-air missile units. So these are going to provide us with a, a bit of a challenge, which hopefully we'll come out on top of. So uh, I'll get this into the air, get her, uh, get her turned round, and I will see you again in a second. So we should be in range of those missiles any moment, so it's time for us to start thinking about returning fire. Let's go for some harm missiles first of all. And there we go, we have missiles coming in. Pop a bit of chaff. Seems to have done the trick. Let's see how those harm missiles get on against that ground target. Oh, they've gone. A, they've gone for the other one, which is quite handy, because it means we can break out the. Ooh, more missiles coming in. Oh, that was a bit close for comfort. I need to reacquire that target, otherwise 
those missiles are not going to hit. I think I accidentally fired the Hellfire when I meant to go for one of the Mavericks. Let's go for a couple. Here comes a missile. Yeah, that looked to be uh, looked to be missing from early on. Okay, so far so good. This is just basically a test to see whether I can sort of dodge missiles whilst I'm flying with it by myself. Any more missiles going to come in? It looks like it's been fairly scorched already. I think we may have blown up uh, blown up most of its missiles before uh, before this, but uh, well, never hurts to be uh, never hurts to err on the safe side. Okay, well that was uh, that was quick and uneventful. Let's uh, let's get back to the dogfighting. Just a quick post-production note here, because I thought you might want to actually have a look at the uh, the anti-air units here. It looks like we did get a couple of lucky hits, blew off the uh, both the missile launchers fairly early on. But uh, anyway, moving on. So here we go for the final test for these club tails, the tiger tail. Uh, the result of the product of our last round of fighter development. Uh, these quickly became king of the skies. Uh, these are sort of more the, the lighter, quicker, nimble craft, the single engine versus the heavier double engine club tails. It'll be interesting to see how it gets on sort of from that perspective. Anyway, let's get them let's get them into the air. I just want to keep an eye on these tiger tails because uh, as I mentioned earlier they're not quite as stable on the ground. Um, they do try and get a bit up close and personal on uh, on occasion, you see a bit of bumping there, which can uh, is not always good. Although they they appear to stay well separated, so uh, no major problems there. Landing gear up. Um, now, if I remember correctly, last time we fought, uh, last time we did our fighter development, we uh, we pitted pitted these against uh, the rest of our craft, and. Um, well, these appeared not to do too well. They got round. They they just they did not get a first volley of missiles off. So, but they did actually go and uh, did actually go and win all their fights. So it'd be interesting to see how uh, see how things progress this time around. How are we doing? We're about to get to the allotted distance. Yep. Let's see if they'll uh, let's see if these tiger tails will get a, a round of missiles away this time. Will there be anything? The club tails appear to have launched theirs. The tiger tails, no, they are. They are not launching. They are just breaking low to try to avoid the incoming missiles. Let's hope they dodge it. They should have it in there. Should have it in them to dodge the. Oh, that does not look good. Yeah, this. Oh, yeah, he got he got toasted. That is not good news for the tiger tails straight out of the gate. Uh, more missiles flying in. Um, hmm. Both the other tiger tails, yep, surviving to tell the tale. Oh, what was that? Was that? Oh, that was just that was just the one that was still flying. Rather hopefully, rather than anything else. But no, we seem to be getting into gun range. It's. Ooh, let's see if we can find. Yeah, the club tail seem to. Oh, that was a bit close. He loses a few parts, but he's otherwise all right. The other tiger tile now, having guns put onto him, and oh, gets scorched. But I think he's just about survived it. Now, can he turn turn around and put guns? No, he's gone for a missile. He's gone for a missile. How's the other tiger tail doing? He's he's. I'm not sure what he's firing at. It's getting very close to the ground. This is... Oh, that was close. That was very close. And guns coming in. Guns coming in to shred him. But they do not find their mark. How's things going over here? This tiger tail gets scorched again. Gets scorched again. Still flying. Let's uh, switch to one of these club tails. This one trying to... Oh, and there goes a missile, and I think that is probably... He's still flying and fires a missile back. He's, uh... Still not out of here. Guns coming in. Oh, there we go. 
Gun's coming in. Take off his engine. Hmm. Our last surviving tiger tail. Gun's just brushing him. That club tail sticking to sticking to his. Well, that's the problem with having a fighter craft with the name tail in it. You've got you've got nothing really to say there. But uh, oh, there goes a missile. Where did that come from? I'm assuming the other tiger tail must have launched it before he uh, before he crashed. But uh, here we go, coming in for a bit. Is it a bit of a joust? What on earth is happening? Is that? It's one of the club tails getting cooked by his own craft's missiles. Now that's definitely one of the tiger tails. That's the club tail that. That is weird. The uh, the t club tails doing the tiger tails work for them, but uh, oh, he's missing bits of wing. This is not looking like good news. It's another one of the tiger tails. So it looks to be pretty much two on one at the moment. This tiger tail running. He's lost. He's lost a bit of his wing. He's lost. All his control surfaces. Oh, he is a sitting duck. Admiral Kerman. Sounds like a three-year-old's trying to say Admiral. Anyway, you can run, but you can't, well, turn. Are they going to be able to finish it off? Are these club tails finally going to be able to finish off them? Are they going to get guns? Yeah, he's running. I think that's pretty much his only option. The guns come in. He just... Just graze him. Oh, there we go. He's lost some more stuff. Is that... He's... He can't fire up his engines. What's wrong with him? Has he lost... He's lost all his fuel, and that is the Tiger Tails out of here. So, the Club Tails win that final competition by, uh... Three kills to... Oh, we still got... I'm not sure what happened to this guy. I think he might have been, might have been uh, cooked by uh, by a missile fired by one of the uh, by one of the other club tails because well there weren't any tiger tails showing at the time it was launched. But uh, hmm. Anyway, not to worry. The uh, the, the club tails uh, emerge victorious nonetheless. They have wrested the crown from those tiger tails and. Uh, well, now we'll have to see if we can develop something to give these a good kicking, but um, but we'll get round to that at some point. Um, so that's it for today, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, as Calamie Kerman here reaches for the sick bag, it just remains for me to say, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.